Hey guys, Dark Fate here. Um, today is going to be an anime review of Gundam Seed. Uh, here it is, right here. Gundam Seed. Now, um, Gundam Seed, it takes place in the Cosmic Era. So, it's another alternate universe. It doesn't have anything to do with Universal or anything like that. And it takes, and it's during this time where there's this thing called the Bloody Valentine, um, I, I think it's the Bloody Ta Valentine War or, or um, Battle or, I don't know, it's, it's, it was just like, oh, it was just a Bloody Valentine Massacre, there you go. Because, um, which was basically, in this show, naturals, which are just like regular humans like you and I, and there's things like, these things called coordinators, which are genetically engineered um, superhuman kind of things, kind of like new types, except not, they weren't engineered, obviously, but like, um, new types from the Universal Century, and basically, the coordinators moved off of Earth into the, into colonies because the naturals were always jealous of them and things like that, and there's racism and all that, and the naturals decided that they wanted to get rid of them, so they bombed this colony, and it killed them hundreds of thousands of people, and this sparked a war, so this takes place, so Gundam Seed takes place a few months into, or I think nine months into the war, if I remember correctly, and um, it takes it, the story and the perspective of a coordinator who is living on a neutral planet among naturals, so he isn't with his own kind, um, and his name is Kira Yamato. Now, Kira Yamato has lived on a, on a neutral planet, a neutral uh, colony all his life, so he hasn't, he doesn't want to participate in the war or anything like that. He doesn't want to fight against his natural friends and all that. And he gets thrust into this war because the neutral colony he was on, Heliopolis, Heliopolis gets attacked by um, the coordinators, which are Zaft, and the naturals are Earth Federation. So the Zaft attacks, and basically Kira has to pilot the Gundam. They, are, they attack because they are stealing Gundams. And Kira actually is able to get one before they uh, catch them all, so he has to protect his friends and stuff. And he m encounters his old childhood friend, Atherin Zala. Now, Atherin Zala is more... He's fighting in, on the Zaf side. He wants the naturals to pay for what, he's, what they've done during the Bloody Valentine because his mother was killed. Um, she, she was an innocent lady. She was just killed because she happened to be living on this colony that got nuked and um so he meets he sees them and, they're, and then he has to fight him and basically throughout the whole show well the first half of the show it's basically Kira um fighting against Atherin's will to try to get um Kira to join him on the coordinator side so that he could um they could fight together and things like that because they don't want to fight I mean you wouldn't want to fight your best friend if you were in war and you wouldn't want to have to try to kill your best friend and all that and that's kind of what the first half is. Now, Kira and Athron are the main two main characters in this show. And... Sorry about that. So, Kira and Athron are the two main characters in this show. And for the first half, like I said, they have to fight each other. Since they both have different views. So Kira doesn't want to fight him, but he has to protect his friends from coordinators and all that. And Athron doesn't want to fight him, but he has to... He's in the army, so he has to do what he's ordered to do. But then the second half takes a different thing and um, basically they get to work together in a sense. I don't want to spill too much about it. Um, but for the most part, the characters in the show they're all very good I thought. Um, they all have very good motivations and everything. Everybody has a good backstory. Um, there, are, I mean there are like some some like flay. A lot, a lot of people hate her. Like I even hate her. But, um, sh you have to realize that if Flay wasn't in the show, then the whole character development of Kira would not have happened. So, uh, Flay, although many people hate her, she is a key person in this show. And that's what you have to realize, basically. Um, overall, like the Gundam fights and everything, this show is primarily Gundam fights, since it's basically one on four. Um, it does get kind of annoying because it happens like almost every episode and it's not really that different. Mainly because they recycle animation every episode. Like after episode like 
seven or so, that will start recycling the animations over and over again. So you'll just see, like, the, you'll see, like, Buster Gun, like, connect his um, gun and shoot, like, a million times throughout this whole show, or, like, Kira um, shooting and stuff like that. And they, all they do is just change the background. Which they make sure that the background is something that doesn't have any detail, really, so they could just change it quickly. And, um, yeah, that's one of the main flaws in this show. It's very lazy animation work. Especially when it comes to the um, actual people in the show. The animation for this show is horrible. <laughs> um, compared to what... I mean, it's, it's, it's decent for an anime. But it's horrible compared with the job they did with the Gundam Flights. That are, I mean, that are extremely stylized, extremely uh, greatly animated and all that. And just looking at the characters, until the second half of the show, probably like 30 and up, it starts get to, it starts getting better. But you could tell that in the beginning they really didn't give a shit about um, how the characters looked on screen. And that's too bad. Um, overall, the art style is pretty good. I think that it, it's kind of... It's, it's kind of, like, boring after a while because a lot of characters start looking the same and all that. But, I mean, it's, uh... It's good. But... Yeah, I mean, the characters are... I thought the characters, for the most part, were pretty good. One thing I really loved about this show was the music. I mean, the music in this show is top-notch. All the openings, all the closings are top-notch songs that I actually love listening to. They're, they're all extremely well done. And then the actual background music for the show is amazing. Um, the voice acting, English voice acting, is pretty good for the most part. There was a few, like, Kira. They make him sound kind of like a surfer dude. I mean, he's kind of like, yeah, I know what you mean. Like, yeah, dude. I mean, it's just like, what the hell? But, I mean, um, it was just, just kind of weird. I thought Athens' voice actor was really, really good. Um, Flay's voice actor is annoying as hell. But I guess that kind of fits her. Um, I really like Raoul Akuse's voice actor. He has that really kind of, like, eerie, mysterious voice. And that just works amazingly well in this show. But, uh, so, on the, on the sound department, it's a great great show. I'd, I'd probably give it some of the best in Gundam recently. Um, overall, this show... Well, one thing I should mention about this show is this show is kind of like a retelling of the original Gundam in a modern kind of setting. With, of course, there's a lot of differences, but it's kind of loosely um, like it. And I think that if you're new to the sh series and you don't want to watch something like G Gundam, which is really unconventional, which, which um, you can't like watch G Gundam and expect all the other Gundams to be like that since none of them are, but you could watch Gundam Seed and watch all the other Gundams and kind of have a grasp of what's going on. Just because of all the... They kind of retell the whole um, Gundam universe kind of uh, terminology that you'll need to know. And I think that that's what it did a great job on. Of course, I hated the recycling of the clips in almost every episode after the first few. I hated the uh, early on character animation. It's, it's horrible. Um, some of the battles do get boring because it's the same thing over and over again, and sometimes they don't even seem like they add anything to the show. Um, it does start to drag around, like, episode 30s, um, a little bit, but then it starts picking up again. I thought that the ending was, uh, the ending was just bad, I thought. I mean, it just ends. I mean, I know it, it kind of leaves it, like, how, it kind of leaves it until this Destiny came out, but it kind of leaves it, like, you have to figure out what's going on. But at the same time, it just leaves you, like, you went through this whole journey, and then it just stops. And then they have, a, they have an OVA that's five minutes that does nothing for the show. But, I mean, yeah. Um, overall, Gundam Seed is a top-notch Gundam series. It's not definitely not the best, and I hate how people say it's, like, one of the best. But, I mean, it's definitely a great show, and I would give Gundam Seed a 9 out of 10. I mean, it's, it's a really great Gundam show. If you're, if you're new to Gundam, you should check this out and you want to have, like, the real Gundam experience and not um, kind of like a fun ride like G Gundam, then you have to check out Gundam Seed if you want to uh, get into Gundam, I think. It's, a, it's really uh, f fast-paced and all that. So check out Gundam Seed, guys.